Hey everybody, Controlled Explosions here, and I wanted to do a quick review and initial impression of the new Valet MLD 1030, well, new to me at least. It's a combination mill, drill, and lathe. It works just fine. I want to talk a little bit about the setup process. One of the first things that I noticed is that this thing is Chinese, and one of the ways I know that is because it has that specific grease that you see at the Harbor Freight all the time that's like zombie boogers, that's real thick and dark brown. And uh, us millennials were really soft. Uh, unlike the older generation, it was a lot harder. And so one of the ways in which I'm really soft personally is that I don't really like cancer and you can smell this thing and you're like, wow, that's, that's some pungent cancer right there. So put the gloves on, clean this whole thing up with some mineral spirits and WD-40. Uh, and it's way, 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 way better. Uh, this, this stand, Oh crap, uh, I really, really dislike this stand, putting it together. It's not very sturdy, but once you get it, I'm sure, I mean, it's fine. Um, at the same time, there's a vertical piece here, and that vertical piece on, on the inside lip to this cabinet has a, uh, has a Allen head screw and a nut that attach. And there's no actual way, unless you had baby hands with the strength of Zeus, that you'd be able to put the screw in, get the correct clearance and then turn the thing down. So I actually had to modify the cabinet, cut out part of the lip uh, with a Dremel tool, and then uh, still I had to modify the Allen uh, wrench to be a little shorter. Not great design, but what do you expect? It's, it's a couple grand, it's from China. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it seems to be a fine machine. Right now I have a little vise on it. This is a tool holder uh, for your cutters that come with it. I'm not a big fan of this tool holder for the main reason that it uh, it's just not great for cutting things off in the center line. And, and by that I mean I had this little knob I've been making just for the machine and it's kind of the cool thing about lathes and mills is you can make tools for them and they're kind of the granddaddy tools and that they're the tools that all other tools are made of when you kind of get right down to it. So this little knob could go right here in theory, but I realized as I was having this that it needs to get cut off and I couldn't cut it off because uh, the clay here, even with a lot of, even with a, a lot of shims, won't get to the center line of the part, which meant I got out the old hacksaw and we did it the old fashioned way, which works just fine, even if you're a millennial like myself. So. Uh, what else? It's 120 volts. It's got a motor here. It's got a motor here. Two separate motors. Two separate plugs. Math is hard. The tail stop is fine. Slides good. Slides smooth. Comes with a three jaw chuck and a four jaw chuck, which is really nice. It comes with these. This little set. Oh boy. I did not, I forgot to clean that, and you can see that thing is covered in that, that Chinese grease. I definitely should wash my hands after uh, that so I don't get cancer. But I think that's probably a, uh, a decent rundown of the mill. I don't know if I already said this, but I'm about 200 pounds, which is not impressive and doesn't have any bearing on anything. However, when I lifted, I couldn't lift this thing onto here. Uh, and I'm like probably below the mean in strength anyway. So I had to enlist the help of a friend of mine who's a 230 pound, very, you know, mm, Samoan guy. And uh, we were able to lift this thing on, but it, it actually wasn't as easy as you think it would be. Uh, it's just kind of awkward. Uh, Cause you got all this weight up here, even if you put it down with all the weight in the headstock, it's not a quick change system. It's a, it's a gear driven system as you just saw. Gosh, what else? I mean, those are really my initial impressions and I didn't see any other videos on YouTube or in other places that gave a decent review of this thing. But those are some things to look out for. The stand isn't that great. Uh, the grease, obviously, that's kind of to be expected in this price range. I think I got this one, I think we got it for 2800 bucks, and I think it's a fine home gamer deal. I certainly want to get it if you were a professional shop or something like that. You could probably find an older lathe that would do better, but for, for a new piece of equipment that is not 
doesn't have a storied history and isn't from a you know name brand manufacturer. It seems to do everything fine. It certainly runs true and uh, the ways are are fairly level. Uh, obviously, that needs to get adjusted when you actually install it in the floor and everything else. I would say that sums up my initial thoughts and impressions on this particular machine. I have nothing further to add and I hope to see you on the next video as I do more projects and fun stuff.